Okay, Celtics draft talk. When we talk about the 2018 draft for the Celtics, we are mostly talking about the Lakers, aren't we? But if we do not end up getting this Lakers pick, we are still in good shape because we do have a first-round pick. And uh, I realized today part of the reason that these good teams stay good even though they draft low is because all these good teams are looking for is a role player. So a lot of draft mistakes are made when a team is desperate for a star and they decide that whatever player, Prospect X, is the, so, is the answer to all their dreams. But when teams are just looking for a role player, uh, the, the, the bust rate is much lower. And uh, we see this over and over again, these college upperclassmen mostly. Um, you know, everyone knows who they are as a player. They're mature. They might not have that star potential, maybe not freak athletes, but they've won at the college level or internationally or whatever it is. And it's a safe pick. And a lot of those safe picks are made in the late first round. Even into the second round, you get these safe picks that are just NBA caliber guys that are good value. And because the Celtics have Gordon Hayward coming back, our starting five is ultimately already set, I believe. Kyrie Irving, Jalen Brown, Gordon Hayward, Jason Tatum, Al Horford. So with Gordon Hayward coming back, Al Horford would probably in all likelihood be moving to center. But in any event, none of these guys, as far as I can tell, are starter, qu starter quality for this currently number one in the East Celtics stadium next year. Um, so, you know, it's not, we're okay whether we get this Lakers pick or not, in my opinion. We are okay. But it would be a great asset to have whether we draft somebody or trade the pick for an established veteran in the summertime. So when we talk about Celtics, we're talking about Lakers. So we got to talk about the Lakers here for a minute. Uh, I believe they do have the potential to contest for a playoff seed in the weaker East, in the weaker West, I mean. Not as good as it used to be. Even a 500 record could arguably get a team into the playoffs in the West this year. Lakers currently have the fifth worst record, but they're not that far out as of right now. And the fact is that if they had managed their roster differently, coached a little differently in the fourth quarter, the Lakers would probably have about three or, three or four more wins than they currently do, and they would very much be flirting with 500 right now. So what we are looking at here is fourth quarter Los Angeles Lakers per 100 possessions, minimum of 13 games played. This is how these guys generally do. This is how the team generally does with these guys, plus minus, on the court. And we see Lonzo Ball is the last on the Lakers in the fourth quarter, plus minus wise, per 100 possessions. So what's the answer for the Lakers to compete, contend for a playoff spot? It may very well be limiting Lonzo Ball's fourth quarter minutes and giving those minutes to guys like Josh Hart or Jordan Clarkson. So maybe as the year goes along, Lonzo Ball will get more comfortable and start giving them more value in the fourth quarter. But as of right now, He's the glaring weakness, and even though the Lakers don't have a pick, they appear to be in pure development mode rather than win-now mode. So we'll keep an eye on that as Celtics fans, and as Lakers fans, you can keep an eye on that and hope that either Lonzo Ball plays the spoiler and keeps that pick from getting to the Celtics by playing better in the fourth quarter and helping the Lakers to contend for a playoff spot. Um, but that's that, you know. Either Josh Hart or Jordan Clarkson needs to play more, or Alonzo Ball needs to play better. But as Celtics fans, in a twisted way, we will hope that the Lakers continue doing what they're doing. But uh, on a personal level, I certainly feel more sympathy than I ever would have thought I would for Alonzo Ball. And, uh, you know, what's affecting him most is this fear of failure. And it's that terrifying fear of failure that's making him shoot even less than 50% on layups and around the rim, okay? So that's what's enveloped him, and I can relate to that. I've had that before, and it's an awful feeling. And I, you can only imagine, we can only imagine what it would be like to go through that and to have that ter terror of failure 
under the Hollywood lights. But um, let's play the simulator one quick time before the video ends. As of right now, Lakers with the fifth worst record, Celtics with a decent chance of keeping the pick. Let's play the lottery simulator one time. Okay, so what happened? So the Kings kept the pick. What? Anyway, guys, I don't even know what the hell's going on. I thought we kept the pick if it's top five. This has it going to uh, screwed up simulator. Anyway, we have a decent chance of keeping the pick. It could get better if the Lakers continue to really struggle and go into a slump. Or our hopes of keeping this pick could fade away if the Lakers improve. Guys, I'll see you soon. I'll do another video like this in two or three weeks. All right, peace.